Hey everyone, and welcome to Letty Does Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So in the last episode, after Daisy was betrayed by Deke, who gets a big payoff from having delivered her to Cassius, Daisy is pretty much Cassius's gold mine to getting out of that Earth colony that he's ruling over. So he is called Bitters from all across the galaxy, and he wants someone to buy Daisy at a high price. So he's planning on hosting his gladiator match and having everyone be very impressed and then getting off of the Earth colony and blowing it up so that he never has to think about it again. And Daisy, all the while she's getting prepped for her gladiator match, meets this inhuman whose ability is to read other people's minds and allow them to read their minds. So, Daisy, still trying to get Gemma out of Cassius's grasp, has been interrogated by Cassius right in front of Gemma, even though Gemma can't hear anything. But luckily, the two of them were able to tell the same story about how they got there and how they are the only people that came through the monolith. And that kind of keeps Cassius suspicious because. He had the elders of the humans say that there was going to be a whole team and it can't only be these two people, but at the same time he has no evidence otherwise. So he only has them two and it's up to everyone else to save the day. And good thing too, because Mac has now been appointed kind of, gosh, I forgot his name, junkyard loner shark dudes enforcer because he's such a big guy and they find out that for Cassius to have a grip on all the humans and to get them to do what they want he has been holding babies hostage because humans can't have babies naturally anymore so he has the ability to make babies and bestow upon whichever family he so wishes a baby what are you doing <laughs> So, after finding that out, Mac and Yo-Yo feel pretty bad for the whole situation, and their whole, I guess, end game in all of this isn't just get back to the Earth that they know, it's pretty much save these humans and destroy everything that Cassius is using to oppress them. So. That's pretty interesting. I'm not entirely sure how they're gonna do that when they have the stupid tracker things on their wrists and they shock them and they, like, monitor their remove, but now they know that Deke is a traitor and they have locked Deke inside of his little solitary box because he deserves it. So, Deke might actually be playing the long game with Daisy, but her gladiator match is about to start and when Space Fitz shows up in his new outfit saying that Daisy's the destroyer of worlds, that she just shouldn't have a regular gladiator match, that it should be a fight to the death, that leaves me with a lot of questions. So I think they're going to answer those questions in this episode. We're probably gonna see just how he got there and what the hell is going on in this episode. And that's just gonna be gearing up towards the finale which I am so excited for. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 5, Rewind. Let's get started. Okay, so this is going to go back to the day that they were taken. We're probably going to find out why Fitz wasn't. Oh, what? Oh, that's right, they froze time, so he has no idea. Did Fitz just get arrested? Where are Poor Fitz! From the he just got Gemma back and now he just lost her. I swear, I'm telling you the truth. I don't know. Wouldn't they have Do seen on the security camera that well, security Fitz was there been and then everyone else the wasn't diner. and then he was confused? And then they know he's telling the truth, right? Oh, come on. 
I feel like his accent got even stronger <laughs> since the last time we saw him. Okay. I'm telling you the truth. I'm oh, responsible. that's right. Mace died. Oh, I left you behind. Do you understand? Like a hundred years a long time? Oh yeah, and then how could Daisy destroy the world if she was teleported in that moment in time? And in this timeline, they all got beamed away, and yet the one that they landed in is supposed to be a feature of their timeline where Daisy destroyed the world. Hmm. And a TV to watch soccer? That was his demand. Ew. That looks like some sad little Thanksgiving TV dinner. I don't get what the thing with the soccer. Aww. Okay! I didn't know he was that much of a sports fan. Another letter? Damn! He requested all those? Enlighten us. They were aliens. abducted by aliens. <laughs> Alright, listen. Get those cuffs off my class. Hunter? Hunter is his attorney? The oh man. The, the only form of law Hunter speaks. Is fits. And how many copies do you know? Oh, <laughs> that's what he was trying to do? That's hilarious. Okay. That is awesome. Yeah, that's the kind of lawyer that Fitz needs. See, it's even got cloaking. <laughs> he even has cloaking. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Oh, I love this. Nothing else. Uh, no. Oh, he's telling him about Ghost Rider. So are we gonna find? Aww, that's sad. Okay. um... Did he say ferret cages? Oh. Yeah, those are ferrets. Oh, they're all the same one? Whoa. Okay. I am a sentient chronicom from a that planet is a which revolves totally around a star. Average a Earth name, you know, as Enoch. Cygnus. Good choice. Yeah, we'll just... Uh, <laughs> that escalated rather quickly. Okay. Even Hunter's like, what the fuck? When did Fitz become a badass? Trying to help. Oh, she's an inhuman whose ability is to see the future. Don't just eat things from random people's houses, you weirdo. That's the two of them. So she's the the Cree, the world breaking apart. This is proper. Well, that was creepy. Are they just? We just lost a half an hour of time. Invisible. Unknown. Okay. Well, that's a lot of answers for us. It had to be. He's looking at a photo of Gemma, isn't he? Aww, he totally is. Yeah, I knew Secret that's who it was. That was a long time ago. Dang. Those baby dogs are a little bit nauseous. Maybe it's trying to protect her. They really are. No, man, I kind of like seeing that side of you. <laughs> and it works, right? I can relate to you I like that, Fitz. Right page. That's sad. I'm it must sorry. be so hard. Aw, oh, yeah. What does that mean? Lance is done. Aren't they gonna know what Fitz looks like? Aren't they not supposed to know where they're going? No turning back. I'm Let's with you it. to the end of the line, brother. Release the ferret. <laughs>
Oh! That's so dope! How do they know it's operational, though? Let's hit the jackpot. Shouldn't they get, like, they everything from shield. What the hell's going up on here? in the air first? I'm the badass now! Do as I say! I can't believe they left it fully operational for a storage unit. That's so awesome. I know. What? Just happened. What? Really? Team Shield will be fully armed. <laughs> He's packing that up. <laughs> That's hilarious. How does this get fits? Just make sure he gets Sweet. back. Okay. There isn't gonna be time for any more hugs. I love you. <laughs> Hello. Oh, they're bromance. But he froze with his eyes open. Oh, Enoch stayed with him. I thought he was gonna stay with Robin. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, it just ended. All right, so Fitz's job for the rest of this season is just to be a total badass and fight all these. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. He goes through so much for Gemma. Can't they just be alone for one second? It's all I ask. My little shipping heart just needs a moment to take a break, please. But. Oh, this is gonna be so badass! I'm so excited! And I love how Fitz stored away all that stuff for them. Including the shotgun axe. Oh, I've been waiting for shotgun axe for I don't know how many episodes, but uh, this is gonna be so amazing. I'm so excited. Everyone's gonna throw down. This is gonna be fucking awesome. So. I loved this episode. This episode was pretty great. It was great to see Hunter again. Um, I love how Nick Blood just seems to love to play his character and he's so into it and no Bobby, but mm, it's okay. She's busy elsewhere in the universe. So that's totally okay. And yeah, I really hope for just some badass fighting sequences in the next episode with gladiators and aliens and then hopefully someone finally like punches Cassius in the teeth and he he totally deserves a lot more but yep this is gonna be pretty great so let me know what you guys thought of this episode and what your thoughts for the season finale are gonna be and I'll see you next time bye Hey everyone, Letty here. Just wanted to let you know that you should totally be checking out my Pokemon live streams, where I'll be showing off my new C moves. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking that circle button up there. Or you can check out some more of my videos over here, and you can find the latest news with my Patreon by checking out that video down there. It's hero time! I know I'm a dork! Leave me alone.